Hey, are you ready for some hunting on the Tommy Wilcox Show? Tommy Wilcox Outdoors is brought to you by Alabama Credit Union. Feel good about your money. Mahindra Tractors, built for the long haul. Peach Outdoors, get the motor running on your next project with our Mahindra Tractors, ATVs, and lawn equipment. Tuscaloosa Toyota, one price, one place. Talladega County Exchange, for all your feed and agricultural needs. The band Legal Limit, Lou and the guys play all your favorite classic rock and country. Nelson Glass, for all your contract or residential glass needs. All music courtesy of country music legend, Hank Williams, Jr. Hey folks, welcome to today's show. Uh, I think we got another great turkey hunt coming up for you and some great turkey information. You know, a lot of people ask me all the time, Tommy, what's the greatest characteristic you can have to be a good turkey hunter? And I always tell them patience. If you're patient, uh, you'll really increase your odds of taking a bird. Uh, you know, with turkey hunting, a lot of we want to overcall or we want to get up and move closer to a bird or we want to run and gun. And all that's fine and dandy and good, but uh, I always tell people, slow down. If you're going to call, sit, you know, 45 minutes in the area. Uh, if you're seeing birds on a regular basis in certain areas, call, but sit. Uh, don't be running and gunning. And uh, I think if you do that, it'll, it'll en enhance your chances of being able to take that bird. Can you run and gun them? Yeah, by all means. But what I do in filming and toting cameras and sound equipment and GoPros, it's kind of tough. So I chose to sit and call and disc fields up and uh, put blinds up in certain areas that I know there's a lot of birds. And y'all all seen all the different turkey blinds they have on the market, all these tent blinds and all. They can be very, very productive. and Or you can build your own blinds and save a couple hundred bucks. And uh, I had the chance to talk with Joe Phillips of Marks Outdoors about that. And uh, here's what he had to say about uh, turkey blinds. Tents, uh, blinds? Uh... You know, building just a common brush blind, you know, taking you know, a machete or something and, you know, at the edge of a, of a food plot or something, you know, build you a little brush blind where you can put you, where you can sit down, you know, up against the tree and you can do the same thing on an old woods road, you know, right. just little brush blinds and stuff. And sometimes the, they're more uh, effective uh, than, say, these tent blinds, but the great thing about a tent blind is you can fold it up and take it somewhere else because, let's face it, you don't want to build these things unless you know you got birds coming in. Now, how do you know? By scouting and yep. using game cameras and stuff like that. And if you do have birds coming in, then you can build these blinds and uh, they just all enhance your chances of, of, of taking a turkey. Hey folks, welcome back to Tommy Wilcox Outdoors. I think I got a great hunt for you today. Uh, it was a great hunt, I thought. A lot of great footage. Birds strutting and carrying on. And very exciting. And then I went from way up here to down here once they disappeared on me. But uh, my intuition just told me and my uh, instinct told me to sit tight continue to call and just uh, to be calm, still had time left, uh, to not get up and try to move in front of the bird or anything like that, just to sit tight and call. And uh, my instincts paid off. So check out this hunt that I had uh, at Uncle Dole's.
Hey folks, this is Donnie McCaw here with Tommy Wilcox Outdoors, Game Face Calls. I got my good buddy Chris Duke, Talladega County Exchange. Chris, we have had a warm deer season, and I might be crazy, but I heard turkeys gobbling around Christmas, and I've heard them gobbling all the way up through the end of season. Kind of worried that uh, they might be gobbled out by the time spring gets here in my location. Are you hearing anything? I'm hearing the same thing around uh, Talladega and St. Clair County. Right. Uh, I do have a tip for everybody that won't mind. Okay. Most birds get gobbled out early like we think. Right. You need to get you some game cams. Most of y'all probably already have some. Right. And put them in those roosting areas. Put them on your food sources. That's right. That way you can pattern those birds coming in. Get you a time where you can get in there in the woods. You know within a few hours of when they're coming. That's. That's a really good idea. We did that. We do that a lot for midday hunts, uh, but on on a season where turkeys might be gobbled out early in the year, just for an all day thing, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, it'll work. I've had success with it in the past as, as turkeys gobbled out, and like you said, in the midday, mm -hmm. I know you have too. Absolutely. But get out there, put those game cams up, and hopefully you'll have a successful 2020 turkey season. 
From all of us here at Talladega County Exchange, we wish you a great 2020 turkey season. come out earlier and uh, she kind of went around the field I don't know if you seen you could see that other one because I was zoomed in but had another hen come in and he was just sitting there strutting a few times and uh, I just thought that uh, gave him a little time to strut and he strutted and we made it happen so turkey down Let's go take a look at him. Beautiful, beautiful strutting bird. Early in the morning. 8.15. Bird, uh, I heard him fly off the roost, come down. I had one hen come out, she kind of went around. But I kept her hearing him just strutting, man. 
just strutting all up on this hillside. I could hear him, I couldn't see him. Then he come out in this field and another hen came out. You probably couldn't see the hen because I was zoomed in on him. And uh, he kept strutting a little bit here and there. And uh, I decided to take him before he got away. But a beautiful hunt this morning. I want to thank Uncle Dole. We've uh, had a good year, man. We've seen a lot of birds. And uh, the crew has taken a lot of turkeys, some with coral bows, some with regular bows, shotguns. Uh, so it's been a great. Listen, if you want to call in some turkeys and get you some game face calls, I recommend the T-Box. I recommend the Bama Hammer. You can go to TommyWilcox.com or GameFaceCalls.com. Click on the merchandise button and uh, pick you up some calls to keep in your turkey vest. You never know when you'll need them. Windy days, calm days, hilly, flat land. You never know what would have worked, so you got to have them in your vest. And uh, today, the Bama Hammer just talked sweet to them. And this one here come right in. I can't believe it beat the hens in, but uh, there you go, man. That's a nice Eastern right there. All right, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back here with you. Y'all stay with us. Thanks to the sponsors that make it possible for us to bring the joy of the outdoors to those who need it most. All of our special guests from those with cancer to our wounded warriors benefit from the generosity of these sponsors. And we encourage you to support the businesses that champion this important work. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this week's show. Thanks so much for tuning in. I want to give a special thanks to, uh, first of all, Dole Sanford. Uh, me and Dole have been friends for over 40 years, and uh, friends is not a strong enough uh, name. It's kind of, I think we're family. Uh, his brother, Charles Sanford, was uh, like a second daddy to me. Miss Camille was like a second mother to me. Uh, while I was out here at the university, and uh, we've hunted and fished all over the country together, and I appreciate him letting me come and turkey hunt on his property. So, Dole, thank you. Also want to thank Mike Somerville in Livingston, Alabama. We've taken some turkeys off his property, and he's been very generous to let uh, Tommy Wilcox Outdoors uh, come down there to hunt. I want to thank uh, Joe Phillips of Mark's Outdoors. Uh, Joe's been a good friend, and Mark's Outdoors has been very good with product and all to Tommy Wilcox Outdoors. So uh, I want to thank them, and I want to thank all my sponsors, the Alabama Credit Union, Mahendra, Nelson Glass, Crane Works, for all y'all do helping us to help those who are less fortunate. Um, I mean, Game Face Calls, uh, the co-ops, and uh, Pill City, and uh, Columbiana, and Asheville, and Talladega, thank you all. Chris Duke, thank you all for all you do. Uh, and thank all y'all for watching. You know, I don't take y'all watching for granted, and I appreciate uh, y'all tuning in to me when there's so much else you could be doing. Uh, so thank you, and if there's any info you need or to see where I'm at or check pictures from the show, go to TommyWilcox.com or uh, go to... Uh, GameFaceCalls.com and click on the merchandise button. Don't forget, you can go to YouTube and uh, type in Tommy Wilcox Outdoors and hit the red button that says subscribe on any show. And uh, anytime we put out something new on YouTube, they'll let you know about it. So uh, do those things and keep up with me, and I'll try to keep making decent shows for you. So thanks again for tuning in and hope to see you right here next week with Tommy Wilcox Outdoors. Gassed up 
loaded down, trucking on from town to town. Guns, bows, and a tackle box. Here come Tommy Wilcox. Hitting the water, hitting the woods. That Bama boy sure got it good. Always having too much fun.